live is what we are indeed, sir. John Powell, thank you for joining us. Always a pleasure to have you on the show. Mr. Shash Vaswani, always grateful to see you and be able to talk to you, pick at, pick at your mind a little bit. Everybody, welcome to Bring the Heat. This is officially show number three of the 2021 MPSL season here live from the Tamiyu Soccer Complex. The one, the very, the home of your Laredo Heat. Smooth transition here into the Tamiyu Soccer Complex. The players featured on today's show have a lot of experience playing on this field. More on that soon, Coach. Welcome aboard. Always a pleasure to talk. Let's, uh, Thanks for having me, Rob. Yeah, let's, let's jump into it. Tomorrow night, Denton Diablos, the number four, I believe, ranked team within the league, comes into, into Laredo, Texas, into the Tamiyu Star Complex, home of the Heat. What's the game set? Yeah, Denton's a, a top team, 3-0, and coming in on nine points. We know that they have quality. We know that they're organized. They're good in transition. They're, they're a good side. I think if you looked at the season coming into it, you'd say these are probably the two top teams in the conference. Um, they're off to a slightly better start, so I think it's a really good opportunity to show the league that we belong up there with the top. Denton, not a, not a new foe to the Laredo Heat. We've met in previous occasions, I believe three times in the history. Uh, record not in the favor seed. This will change tomorrow night, sir. Absolutely. That's what we're hoping for. Um, we have not had much luck with Denton. Uh, tomorrow night, we, we expect to make that change and, and triumph over, over that team. You know, looking back on the match last Friday night against Irving, who came in here and, and stole uh, three points here from the Heat at home, Great crowd, great result. What was your feeling, sir, seeing so many people from the community out here supporting the Laredo Heat? Uh, I really thanked them a lot to come out and support us. It was a terrific crowd, uh, one of the best ones I think we've had for a long time. Uh, we wish we could have rewarded them with a win, uh, but the boys you know, were out there giving it their all. And um, we just ask them to come out again tomorrow night here at 8 p.m. so uh, we can show them a little bit more of what the Heat is all about. Coach, uh Speaking into it just just slightly a little bit more, you mentioned Denton, one of the top teams in the conference, one of the top teams in the league. Tomorrow will be a battle. Tomorrow will be a war. What's the mindset for the team going forward? How has training been this week to get the boys ready? Yeah, I mean, I think the guys have had a really good week of training. Uh, they've been disciplined. There's been commitment to everything we've been doing. The buy-in has been fantastic from day one. Like I said, we're dealing with some of the top collegiate players in the country. Their mindset has, has reflected that. And... They're 100% ready to go for tomorrow. It's tough to bounce back from a result like uh, Friday nights. I know it's a short week coming up, uh, about four days of training. Um, how's that been like uh, this week, Coach? Yeah, it's never it's never a good thing to drop points, let alone at home. But I think, like like Shashi had mentioned, I mean, they gave everything out there. Unlucky at times, um, but their bounce back has been professional. They they understand that the job wasn't done on Friday. And they know that one of the great things about, about football is the next match is always right around the corner. And so we're lucky enough to, to get a tackle that tomorrow night. Even as it seems, it's, it's a week away, week and a half. We have a little bit of a break coming up. It's always, it's always around the block. It's always right there. It's the best thing. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. I have been working at the Laredo Heat for about 10 years now. And I have never heard the crowd as electric. Uh, to, code, to quote um, assistant coach Adam Miller, it was electric city, to say the least. When the Dov Danner put the ball in the back of the net, what was your feeling hearing the crowd react? That goal was a pro goal, by no doubt, and um, the crowd went crazy. I mean, I don't know what to say. We were, they were here, ready to support us, and they're going to be here again Thursday, ready to support us. I do want to say it was a tough loss for us. Um, we've got three penalties against us in two games. I've always told my kids and everybody else that the universe always has a way of balancing things out. We're not going to have that luck against us always. Mind you, everybody from the ownership group to the to the coaches to the players were very disappointed on the result. But we've got to go back to the drawing board. The universe will balance out. We will get breaks our way. Uh, and the boys just need to believe. Definitely. Tomorrow night at 8 p.m., uh, Denton Diablos comes to Laredo, Texas to visit the Laredo Heat. A big three points on the board. It's going to be a war. It's going to be a battle. And you need to be here. Don't forget, eight, uh, kickoff set for 8 p.m. Kids under the age of 12, wearing red, get in for free, $5 general admission. And to be honest with you, a very electric, very awesome atmosphere. Fantastic to be around. I was in the bleachers uh, throughout the duration of the match, and it was just it was just a blessing to be able to come out here and watch live soccer back again in the city of Laredo. Are we ready for tomorrow night? We're ready. You got to get ready. here. Get in the stands. Don't forget, $5 general admission. Kids wearing red under the age of 12 get in for free. Gentlemen, if you were to invite the city of Laredo out tomorrow night, just one more thing to say, what would you tell them? I would tell them to bring their voices, be loud, come out, and watch us win. Coach? 
I would just tell them that you have a fantastic football team right here in the city of Laredo. They're, they're loving Laredo already for some of them that aren't familiar with it. And the guys that are, they already knew they were going to love it. Come out here, support them, and it will be reciprocated. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Shashi. Pleasure always to speak to both of you. As we get ready to talk to our special guest on today's show, Nadav Datner and Erwin Regulus. Don't forget, you can keep up with everything Laredo Heat on our social media platforms at Laredo Heat SEU. You can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, watch us on Instagram, even check out our YouTube. We have loads of content coming up. Um, our social media team, our marketing director, does a fantastic job of keeping everything up to date and everything current. So make sure you check us out at Laredo Heat SC. Gentlemen, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. First time for both of you. It's a pleasure to see you in red, my I say. It's a pleasure to have you back in Laredo. We'll jump into things uh, quickly. Nadav Danner, three goals in three games on the season. What's the feeling? Uh, obviously, as a striker, it's great to score goals. But uh, for me, it doesn't really matter as long as we don't win. Like I would give away my all my goals as long as we'll be uh, ke like keep winning. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sense. sure. So uh, we just have to keep the work. Obviously, I'll do my job. I'll keep scoring. And I know tomorrow will be a very good game for us. Erwin, you're the captain of this Laredo Heat side, this 2021 team. Haven't been on the field as of much, recuperating from a recent injury. How are you feeling? I'm feeling better. I'm feeling ready to play tomorrow. I'm feeling ready to start, actually, uh, get some more minutes and get to play for the people that couldn't really play much this past week. Now, earlier on the show, I uh, I kind of teased everybody a little bit, gave them a little bit of a spoiler saying both of you are very familiar with this field, one more than the other. Nadav, you spent a couple of seasons here at Tamiyu playing for the Dust Devils. What's it like to return to a home? I mean, it's it's it felt weird, but it's also very comfortable. Like I had great time here. We had a great season, uh, my freshman season. Uh, great team, great players, the coaches. Um, I had really great memories from here. So it was pretty comfortable to come back here and special to score again. Definitely. The, game. the commentator throughout the stream said that you're no stranger to the big moments and you're no stranger to this field. How comfortable you are playing here at the Tammy Sugar Complex? Yeah, very comfortable. Like. Obviously, it was my first uh, my first station in the U.S. Like I've uh, been through a lot here. I grew here, so coming here again uh, with all the all the crowd out there on last Friday and hopefully tomorrow is is a great feeling. Erwin, you've been on this field before. You've scored two, and I believe it was 2019. Not the best of feelings to see you wearing a Midland Soccer's jersey, but my heart is thriving and my heart is pumping now that you're wearing Laredo Heat. What's your mindset being on the field for the Heat instead of against it? Uh, it's an honor, you know, you look back at the record of the Laredo Heat and uh, it's something that, you know, once you like come here, uh, I was part of the Midland team that came here. Um, even when I came here, you know, it was a place that I was like, wow, I, still, I would want to be here. So now that I have the opportunity to be here, I don't want to take it for granted. Yeah. So I'm excited to play. Oh, that was my next question. How excited are you to get on the field tomorrow night? <laughs> what would it say? The Englishman say I'm buzzing, you know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm ready to go, you know. Uh, today, after the training session, you know, I could look back. I walked away and look back at the field, and you know, I want to walk back back in here tomorrow and look back the same way, but after a win. So. Uh, after a tough result, training has obviously been uh, short in terms of the amount of days before our next match. What's the atmosphere around the team like? Um, we're ready. Uh, we locked in. Uh, we learned a lesson last Friday. We learned a great lesson. Um, we were short in, in the small details couple of stuff that we could we know we could have done better we talked about it together in the locker room so starting sunday we already were locked in ready for, uh, for me i can play right now like we all all the team are really ready for thursday and that's it the energy on the team must be high you just said everyone everyone's probably buzzing to quote uh the englishman as you said yeah 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 for sure um it's a little bit, you know, when you step out here, the first five, ten minutes, you better warm up. You know, it's a little nervous. But I mean, I think you should allow it. But, you know, the feeling after, you know, the referee, you know, blows his whistle and everything just starts going. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a feeling, you know, that you want to play under, you know, especially this team that's coming to play against us. Just, I'm familiar to, you know, I'm, I'm excited. It's, I can't stop saying I'm excited. No, it's going to be a battle. Yeah. It's going to be a war. Can you walk me through your goal, please? You can receive a through ball from OG. Yeah. Um, no, so first of all, like, uh, my first half, I was a little bit frustrated. I didn't get much uh, chances. So uh, I came in half time and I told myself I have to force one, two shots. This guy actually is the one who told me, shoot, test the keeper, shoot, test the keeper. So it was... Uh, the beginning, beginning of second half, I got a through ball from him. So I just took a big shot and said, I'm going to shoot it. And 
you know how. how <laughs> no, the rest, the rest, the rest. The rest, the rest is, uh, beautiful. Yeah. The commentator also said, if you were to open up Webster's and look up the word "beautiful," there's a capture of that goal. <laughs> I believe that's 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 tested to be proven. Okay. Any last words, boys? Tomorrow night for the crowd. Oh, please come out. Um, you won't be upset this time. I'm pretty sure it was a disappointing result last week, but we'll do everything in our hands to change that result, and we'll get that win. Did I have anything for the fans at home? Honestly, like the environment here last Friday was amazing. If they can, <laughs> if they can uh, <laughs> keep up with the same. The same atmosphere, we'll be ready, we'll be working, we'll be fighting, and uh, we're going to get this W. Definitely, boys. We have a very special guest, the Laredo Heat VIP, Fuego's best friend, Jaden Garcia, will join us on the stream. He's got a couple of questions to ask for you all. Jaden currently plays for our Youth Academy. He's a fantastic player, fantastic dude, and he's got a couple of questions that he wants to ask both of you. Jaden, welcome to the show. Um, good. Yeah, how are you doing today? Good? Yes. Are you excited about tomorrow night? Yes. Who's your favorite player? Laredo Heat. Laredo Heat is his favorite team, just like it should be yours. Don't forget, at Laredo Heat SE on social media. That's where everybody, everybody can follow us there, huh? Yes. Yeah, Jaden, tell us a little bit about yourself. How old are you? Six. Six, okay. Where do you play currently? Laredo Heat. Awesome. He's also a Laredo Heat player. Do you have anything you want to ask the gentleman? Um, about scoring 17 goals. So, Jaden actually has 17 goals in the Sporty League where he plays on the weekend. He has 17 goals under his name. Nadav, you have three. Anything you'd like to, to talk to him about? Can we go to a finishing session together? Can you teach me how to score that much? Yes. Yeah? Okay. All right. We'll bring that to you live as soon as it co it happens. Anything for Erwin? Do you want to ask Erwin anything? Yes. Go ahead. Um, about passing the balls. Okay. So, Jaden would like to know um, what it's like or what do you need to be able to become a good passer, Erwin? Uh, great vision. Um, oh, but mostly, you know, I always look for the open man. So and play the way you're facing. A lot of things that coach always reminds us about. Never forget that. Anything else, Jaden? Um, yes. What do you want to ask him? Mm. Adidas. Adidas. Or Nike. Adidas or Nike. Nike. So, so Jaden would like to ask you, players, uh, you both, what is your preferred brand when it comes to soccer? Adidas or Nike? Cleats. Uh, Nike. Mm. Mine's Adidas. What do you like, Jaden? Adidas. Oh, Oof. sorry, Nadav. Um, Adidas team all the way, huh? Yeah. Who has the best hair on the team, not including the commentator and the host of today's show? Laredo Heat. But who on the Laredo Heat has the best hair? Nadav. <laughs> Nadav. There it is. Nadav. 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 Nadav has the best. thought he was going to point at me. I got my hopes up. but He's got a haircut today, yeah. too. Yeah. I had my gray hair, so maybe it's... Oh, okay. It's wisdom. Yeah. It's wisdom, right? Anything else you'd like to ask them, Jaden? No. No? Are you going to be here tomorrow night to watch a little bit of heat face off against Denton? Yes. What time is kickoff? 8. 8. 8 p.m. That's right, Jaden. Thank you so much for coming on the show, buddy. You've done a wonderful job. You want to ask oh, something? Yeah, yeah. What are you looking forward to doing this summer? Good. What are you going to do this summer, actually? Um, learning about science. So science? Oh, you Soccer. want to improve? As a player, huh? You want to get better this yes. summer? Okay. Yes. So attending trainings. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Nadav? Uh, who is your role model? Uh, a player. A player. Yeah, who Which you like one? to watch? Um. Uh, you like going on YouTube looking up a player? You know. My dad. Oh, your yeah, dad. dad. Oh, your dad's a fan. If my heart wasn't feeling good already today, that sure did it. That's a good kid. That's yeah. Perfect. You excited about tomorrow night? Yes. Who do you root for? Laredo. Laredo. He. That's the right answer. The only answer. Denton Diablos comes in tomorrow night. Kickoff at 8 p.m. Kids are under the age of 12 wearing red. Get in for free. Five dollar general admission. It's gonna be a battle. It's gonna be a war. Anything else, gentlemen? Just wanna say thank you. Thank you for everybody. Thank you for the fans. And we'll see you tomorrow. Erwin. Uh, everybody believes, you know, transmit that belief into us in the field because we believe we're going to win as well. So, Jade, do you want to say thank you to everybody for joining us? Yes. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. You heard it here live from Jaden Garcia. Folks, my name is Rodrigo Marina, Erwin Regulus, John Powell, Shashi Baswani, Nadav Dadner, all on today's show. Make sure you follow our social media at Laredo Heat SC. Best way to stay in contact with us. We'll see you tomorrow night. Kickoff at 8 p.m. Be good, be safe. Go, Heat, go.